welcome back to my channel so today I have a get ready with me this was gonna be super chill it's very gloomy outside I'm actually heading to the mall with my mom so we're just gonna do some light shopping and I'm super casual today like this is usually so I'm super casual today I'm in my own element I'm wearing just like an Adidas shirt which is Typically what I wear when I'm just lounging, like leggings, Adidas, or Nike, and some slides or some sneakers, and that's me. Very simple. So today's makeup is going to be pretty simple. I do want to try out a couple of makeup products, so I'm going to amp it up just a little bit. Like normally, if I'm just going somewhere, I'm either with no makeup or just like mascara, maybe foundation, maybe. But I do want to try new makeup, and this is a makeup channel, so I want to put some on for you guys. So I do have a lot of complexion products that's mainly going to be today's focus I hope the lighting is okay it's very very gloomy out today's the day that I actually get to film like I'm free today so of course it's super gloomy it looks like it's gonna rain that's just my look so I'm just gonna go ahead and clip my hair back because that's like my biggest pet peeve is watching people put on like foundation and stuff with their hair down um, let's make sure it looks cute no it doesn't so first things first I'm just going to moisturize my lips because they are looking very dry I do have a little bit of a tan it's kind of going away already but I was in DR it's not showing up as much I guess on camera because my ring light but it's there I just wish it was a little bit stronger I'm also going to hydrate my face because it is pretty dry I'm always dry I know I always say that but especially when I like wake up like I do all my nighttime skincare but when I wake up my skin is just dry so I feel like I can't just put makeup straight on so I'm gonna put some eye cream on and this one's very light so it's not going to interfere with like makeup this one is the water fusion usually I use eye drops so that was the Dr. Jart Water Fuse Hydro Soothe Eye Gel. And this relieves eye swelling and puffiness, which is what I suffer from. I don't get too much darkness, but I do get a lot of puffiness. And I'm going to use the corresponding uh, moisturizer. This is the Ultimate Hydro Gel for long-lasting moisture, visibly brightens the skin. Also from Dr. Jart. These moisturizers are perfect for the summer because they're so lightweight. They're not going to feel heavy on their skin. They're not going to make you feel like sweaty because some moisturizers will make you feel sweaty. Like you will put it on and even if you don't put on makeup, like you like your upper lip just looks really sweaty. This one's so soothing and cooling and lightweight. Like it feels like just water it feels so good I get really dry like under my eyebrows I think because I forget to moisturize them I'm just gonna hydrate myself a little bit some water so I try to always drink this water Essentia this is a purified water it has a 9.5 pH I've been looking into like drinking more alkaline water I would love to get a machine but right now it's not really like reasonable maybe when I move out but I did buy some pills to make all of my water a little more alkaline okay let's get started because I feel like I'm already taking so long for primer we're gonna use the Smashbox photo finish primerizer primer and moisturizer in one this one has hyaluronic acid in it which I love I'm just really trying to hydrate myself so I don't know if you guys know about this thing it's called nopalina so a lot of like Latinos use it and one of my clients was like you should really try it like it'll help with everything and you'll just feel a lot better so it's like a flaxseed and it has fiber. It comes in capsules, but it also comes in its purest form, which you can mix in with like water or juice or something. Oh, this feels really nice, by the way. And I've been taking the pills and I feel more bloated and I feel really sick. So I know that it's because I'm not drinking like four liters of water a day. I'm drinking like one, which is not good at all. But it's not making me feel good. Like it's making me feel really dizzy, which really sucks. So I ordered the actual pouch on Amazon. I've been taking the pills, so maybe that's why I've been taking two instead of four. We'll take four, and I just no. It's just making me feel really dehydrated. I think I also got like a sinus infection when I got back from DR. The back of my jaw was hurting. I have my wisdom teeth removed, so it's not my teeth. Uh, maybe I was grinding my teeth at night. I'm not sure, but I'm getting like all those symptoms again. I don't know if it's like allergies. Like they went away for a really long time, and now they're back. So I don't know if it has to do with like the time of the year. I'm not sure. Next, I'm gonna use the Arborian CC Cream. This is the illuminating one. So I've used this before, and I thought it was gonna be like an actual will like colored like this one will change a little based on your skin color so this is to help boost radiance protect hydrate and also help and unify and camouflage dehydration fine lines and refine the appearance of skin's texture that sounds like things I need and it's just like a gray color but once you put it on it kind of like changes up so I'm just gonna put that on the outer perimeters so I don't know if you can see that but it just kind of transforms and changes color and it matches you 
So at first it's white and then it just blends in. And you can obviously just use this like if you're in a rush. But I'm going to do a little bit more coverage. I was breaking out and I'm not sure again if it's like the Nopalina or just like my body's flushing out. I got like a really great massage. So that could be it. Like sometimes when you get a massage you you feel sick after because basically your body goes into like detox mode after a um, like deep tissue massage. So it could be that. That's why I was feeling like that. Like two days I was just like in bed. Like I couldn't move. Like I was so and I'm still so tired. A lot of it has to do with being vegetarian and not. I'm like chatting more than than doing makeup but a lot of it has to do with me being vegetarian and not really doing it the right way so basically I'm very picky with my foods I love rice like I grew up on rice and pasta and stuff like that so I'm like conditioned to eating that so I have to eat more veggies and take more vitamins so being vegetarian you really do have to take your take care of yourself and not do it the wrong way or else you're gonna feel like poop all the time I'm gonna do a whole video on the whole transition what made me do it how it's been going because it's been a while it's been a year and a half pretty much being vegetarian okay I do have enlarged pores around my nose and on my nose so I'm using a little bit of the no pore problem primer so now it's time for foundation but I'm actually not gonna use a foundation I'm gonna use a tinted moisturizer so this is like the most famous besides the powder Laura Mercier product I feel is their tinted moisturizer like it has so many reviews on Sephora so many people use it and love it and I've never tried it I'm not really a tinted moisturizer kind of gal I'm all in or all out since I'm always running around I do feel like I kind of want to like get myself a routine of some makeup like not all or nothing like an in-between so I'm excited for a tinted moisturizer because literally you'll catch me like this outside or like a full B face like it's never in between and I don't want to be like that like I want to work on that so so I think I'm gonna have to mix some shades. I think I'm gonna actually mix all three, which is kind of crazy. They all seem either too light or too dark for me. So I just mix all three and let's just see what that does. Okay, one of them was too light, one of them was too dark, and the other one was neutral. So I'm just gonna do a little concoction because right now my skin is like tan but yellow undertone, which is hard to find. So I'm actually mixing sand and caramel. And I'm gonna use this Tarte Quickie Sponge, which my best friend got me. I love Alyssa Ashley, she's always using this, so I'm really excited to try this out. It got really big when I wet it. It reminds me of the Real Techniques one, how soft it is and how large it got, and the shape, obviously. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out because she loves it and she has dry skin. And she likes it better than the Beauty Blender, so we will see right now. I do like the flat edge. I feel like it makes it easy to apply your foundation because it covers more space. So it's like an easier way of putting on foundation. Do you guys hear the birds chirping? <laughs> it doesn't even sound like we're in New York, but I do get a lot of birds outside because I have some trees outside. So this is how it looks. I didn't really like build it. It's just like a light layer. It doesn't have coverage. I mean, it is a tinted moisturizer. It really more just like evened out my skin and gave me like the right color for my skin. I'm gonna jump right into my brows. I'm not gonna do too much to them. I'm just gonna like fill them in so that they look a little bit darker, but I'm not gonna do like the most. So I'm gonna use Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. I'm gonna zoom you in and let's get this brow on. So I've been meaning to do the eyebrow video, but I've been holding off just because, here's the thing, my eyebrows lasted, let's see, from January until July. They still have some microblading. If you look up close, you can still see it. My eyebrows are actually even thinner than this. So they still have microblading in them, but it's a lot less obviously than when I first got them done. They were a lot darker. I missed my appointment to get them touched up, which is totally my fault, my mistake. I didn't think it was gonna be a big deal, but what I found was that they're supposed to last longer because you're supposed to go for your touch up like within a month, a month to two months. And I waited about three to four, so they were already fading. So when you go in for your touch up, that's what really like locks in the brow. So the shape, like I still have the microblading in my brows, but I'm actually gonna go in, I think one or two more times, just cause I do like them thicker and I don't want to have to fill them in I pretty much not fill them in at all I wanted to do the update video but I might as well wait until I do it again because they're gonna change and I feel like it's kind of weird to talk about it when I don't have that much marker blading in my brows so now I'm just going to conceal them and I'm using the NARS soft matte concealer and I'm using a dose of colors concealer brush have you guys heard the new Romeo Santos 
album. So I like about three songs so far. I still have to listen to it a couple times like to see which songs stick with me. So the album is called Golden and I love Tuyo, Ay Bendito, Heroe Favorito, Reina de Papi, and Imitadora. I think Imitadora is my favorite. That's the one that came out I think before the album was released. I'm gonna play a little bit of it. Let me know what you guys think of the album. I like it. I don't know. I'm just not like wowed by it. I don't know if it's his greatest album. Okay, back to makeup. I'm going to use this Tarte Lid Lock Eye Base in the color Buff. I love that it's very yellow. Like, I haven't used it yet, but it looks very yellow. And most eye bases dry my eyelids out, so I'll be very happy to see if this one doesn't. Because it's the right shade, and it's matte, which I love. And I feel like I used to always just use too much eye primer, which I feel like actually makes things worse. You want to use like a nice thin layer because if it starts caking up and getting too dry, that's when your eyeshadow looks really dry. So far so good. I don't see the dryness that I usually would see. Um, usually like eye primers will stick to like the problem areas that I have, which is like my lash line because of the allergies that I have to most products pretty much. Like I'm finding even like liquid liners, even eyelashes are irritating my eyes and it's just so frustrating and it makes me not want to wear makeup, which is not good because this is a makeup channel. So I've just been like confused, like why did this happen to me? I'm gonna use this powder from Well People and I'm just going to lightly set that just so that our eyeshadow is not sticking on. Supposedly this is a dupe to the La Mer powder, like the original La Mer powder, which I wasn't even able to get my hands on again because they came out with a new one, but that one isn't as good. And they're selling it on eBay, like the original, for like $200, which I just, it's, it's so sad. Like, some people are even selling it for like $500, like why do people do that? I get it, but like no one's buying it at that price. Like if it's there on your eBay for like a while, like how about maybe lower it, you know? So for matte shadows, I'm just gonna use my Makeup Forever palette, which I love so much. I've labeled them, so it's a lot easier for me to tell you which ones I'm using. I mainly use two shades, 650 and 664. Those are like my transition crease shades, and I feel like even if I'm not doing like a shimmery lid or something like that, but I want to put eyeshadow on, all I need is two browns and I'm good to go. I wanted to ask you guys, is anyone out there a vegetarian who is anemic who takes vitamins because I'm looking for like the right vitamin most vitamins make me feel really sick which I know I'm just it's, it's like a broken record at this point I'm always sick I'm always feeling like that but I just can't help it like it's not like I choose to be it's just I just recently have been feeling so dizzy and I don't know if it's the nopalina I don't know if I'm dehydrated I'm not really sure but I just want to feel good like I want to feel normal again I'm in the mood to do a wing, like a thin wing. So I have this new eyeliner from MAC and this is the Brush Stroke Liner in Brush Black. And if you guys told me on Snapchat to pick this up, trying out a new eyeliner is very scary because the wing can come out very bad if I don't know how to use the eyeliner well, like if I haven't practiced with it. So we shall see. I'm gonna hold my breath, do this part, and I'll let you guys know how I feel. I'm gonna brace myself and go for it. I really want like a thin, like long wing because I'm using like wispy lashes and I think that would look really good so very simple on the eyes like literally it's just like it's too hot out for like a full cut crease kind of look so let's put on this eyeliner and pray for the best <laughs> I'm super 
super impressed with this liner. It went on so smooth and so easy. It was just so thin, like the brush was so thin that I really was able to do like the thinnest wing possible, which I really like because I don't know, sometimes I'm into the thick wing and then sometimes I just hate it. I'm like, I hate it, I'm never doing it again. But just, it depends on my mood. It depends on the look, what I'm wearing. Today I really wanted to just look like elongated and I'm doing like a wispy lash. I'm using Makeup Forever Excessive Lash, I think, yep, Excessive Lash, which really makes your eyelashes look so long. It makes them look like extensions. Like right now I have liquid liner, so it's not, you can't really see like the full effect. But when my clients come over and I have on just mascara, a lot of people think I have on extensions. I'm like, nope. I find that using certain primers, like lash primers, they pull your lashes out. Like the Dior one was pulling my lashes out. And I would find that like I would put it on just one eye just to like see. And that night taking off my makeup, I would notice like so many lashes coming out on one eye. So yeah, no, we couldn't do that. So I'm going to use these Huda Beauty Giselle lashes, number ones. They're very simple and wispy and I really like that. Most of her lashes are pretty dramatic, like Scarlet and Farrah, but these are the most natural I Finds. These are just like the wispiest. They kind of look like Queen Bee but smaller. So I don't have to cut these. I'm just going to pop them on and I'll be right to the back. So while the glue dries on my lashes, I'm going to just conceal my under eye. And the only new concealer that I have is this Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer in Natural. So not a lot is coming out. I'm not sure if they're just like a little bit dried out. Let's try to blend it because I don't want it drying out underneath my eyes. I do really love the colors. The shade Natural is really nice because it's very yellow. I was kind of scared when I first applied it. It seemed kind of dry. Like not a lot was coming out, but I think that's just how the product is dispensed because they're the full coverage ones you don't have to put on a lot but you know i put on a lot i am really liking the sponge it's very soft like just when you thought nothing could get softer than the beauty blender here we go so i'm gonna add just a little bit of this bobby brown skin foundation in natural tan just a little bit where i feel like i need a little bit more coverage like right around here on my cheeks this is actually like a low coverage foundation but it has a little bit more than the tinted moisturizer so see that just covered it up a little bit better because i have trouble spots i feel like the tinted moisturizer is great if you have great skin so that was a really good match for powder i'm going to use the Too Faced born this way ethereal setting powder which i haven't tried yet looks like this it's very pretty and it does have a really nice top, like a sifter, so that it's not super messy. So before I start creasing, I'm going to quickly just bake underneath my eyes. And this does have like a nice yellow tint to it, like a beige yellow. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder in the shade 203. And I'm going to use their brush, their Kabuki brush. This is the 124 which a lot of people really love. So I'm just gonna pick it up, and it's picking up a lot of product, and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. Ooh. I used to use this powder like back in the day when it first came out and when I was first getting into makeup, and I used to love it. Ooh, that is so mattifying, I love that. So it's giving me really nice coverage, it's really nicely setting my face. I don't really like a dewy foundation on my skin. It just doesn't look good. I'm gonna wipe this away as well while I'm at it. Oh, this brush is so nice. So soft. Minimal dryness. Like, barely any dryness. Looks so good. I love this Too Faced powder already. I love trying new baking powders. It's scary, but I love it because, I don't know, I feel like there's always room for improvement. So I'm going to use this Tom Ford Ultimate Bronzer in Terra. This is the gel formula. I'm still not sure how I feel about it. So I'm going to use today to see how I like it. I actually really like it. <laughs> I like it. For blush, I'm going to use this La Mercier Rose Bloom blush. And it's a really pretty, like, matte, neutral, peachy, rosy kind of color. And I'm going to use my Smith 112 brush. Picking up a lot of product. So that's good. I'm into blush, so I like when a blush is pigmented and 
powdery, I guess, because that means I'm going to get a lot on my brush, which I like. I like blush. I know not a lot of people do, but I do. So I just like to, like, smile and apply on the apples and then bring it upwards. Ooh, I love it. It's definitely showing up a lot lighter on camera. It's very pigmented, and it just looks so good. It looks very, like, flushed. Now that we are looking very flushed, I'm actually going to brighten my under eyes. So I have two powders that I want to try. This one is from Sephora Collection, and it's a yellow powder. And then on the other side, I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Pale Yellow, which I picked up on Sephora. So let's see. This one looks very, very yellow. So I'm going to use like a super, super light hand. I'm actually kind of scared. So Sephora side. I don't know, it doesn't look that yellow to me. Like, they were saying it was just super, like, too, 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 too pigmented. Maybe it's the brush I'm using. I'm using a Sephora Sculpting Blush Brush, but it's you can use it for whatever you want. I'm going to do the Bobbi Brown on the other side, which Bobbi Brown looks a lot lighter. It's a pale yellow, like the name suggests. Which side do you guys like better? I like the Bobbi Brown one. This one is just looking a little bit more like dry. It's like a weird, it's like a chalky yellow. It looks good. It just, this one's just smoother, I feel. Um, okay, so let's do our lower lash line because it's bothering me that it's empty so far. So I'm going to do a little bit of Unseen underneath my eye. This is from Melt Cosmetics. And I'm using a Kat Von D brush, which is my favorite. And then just a little bit in my crease. I'm going to take the same MAC um, liner and I'm just going to go over the band. It's matte, but it's not as matte as like the Balm Schwing or my Sephora matte liner. But I really like how thin brushes. It's amazing. I think I'm going to buy the brown one today because it's just it's going on so nicely. And sometimes I just, I want like a brown liner. So I'm making this one just a little bit thicker just so that it's like a little more even. little bit of ebony brow wiz just on the ends and I'm just gonna contour my nose with this Luxie mini angled brush and that same Tom Ford bronzer I love this mini angle brush it comes in the mini detail set and it's amazing I love it so much I wish they sold it separate they totally should it's perfect <clears throat> whoa it's perfect for um, like precision especially if you have like a hard to contour nose which mine is this is I love it I love it so much it's so good I can't stress it enough I just bought a whole new set just for this brush it's that good I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Flesh Tone Lip Pencil in Natural. For lips, first I'm going to do NYX London. And then on top, I want to do one of these Huda Beauty lip strobes, but I'm not sure which color to use. I think I'm going to go with this one, which is called Ritzy. Whoa. <laughs> that's like goldy. I want something a little more nude. I'm going to do Posh. Let's just see how Posh looks. This one is Angelic. For highlight, first I'm going to do Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlight 01. Ooh. Hope 
Okay, Laura. Just on top, I'm putting on a little bit of Bare Minerals Tantalized Gloss. So I applied a little bit of, or a lot of bit, of Laura Geller Gilded Honey, and I'm just going to apply Coastal Reach from MAC in my waterline. So this is the finished look. It's pretty simple. It took me a while because I was just kind of like testing out new products, seeing like what I wanted to use, and I had to like keep stopping and filming it's just so hot in here and I don't have my AC on so I'm sweating right now so this is like my I want to look put together but I don't want to look like I have on so much makeup especially when I'm wearing casual clothes I feel like this still kind of goes it just especially now that makeup is becoming so much more normal like a lot of people are wearing makeup just like out and about to run errands I feel like this look is still subdued I feel like it's a 2017 version of the no makeup makeup look because everyone has a beat face these days so as long as I have like a glow a lip gloss some like small lashes and brows and foundation pretty much everything I feel poppin', you know? So, I did like all of the products today. I think I like the Bobbi Brown Pale Yellow Powder better than this Sephora Powder. I don't know, it's nice, like it's a good cheaper alternative, but I still prefer how this one looks. I like the lip toppers from Huda Beauty, but I'm not used to seeing myself with such like frosty lips. So I had to mix a couple and I had to put something on top just to like tone it down because I'm not into the metallic lips on myself. I think it looks great on other people, but on me it's just a no. I like the tinted moisturizer. I just feel like it would look better when I'm a little bit more clear, like my skin is clearer. What else did I try that was new? I've never actually used these Huda lashes and I do really like them. I don't even feel like I have lashes on, which is definitely a plus. Us. The Too Faced powder was so good, like no dryness underneath my eyes and I baked, which is crazy. So definitely pick up the Too Faced powder. I really liked it. I mean, I'll have to test it out to see if it has flashback, but the reviews said it didn't and I'm pretty sure they made it in mind with like flashback and like dryness and all that. The Smashbox primer, I loved. So I feel like my skin looks hydrated. Like when my highlight goes on like this, it's because my skin is hydrated. So the Dr. Jart plus the Smashbox primer did me all types of good. I did also use a pore minimizing primer, but I've already tried that. Like I know I love it. But for my skin looking so poor to looking this good, I'm definitely happy with all the products that I used. I just wanted to like sit down and like talk to you guys. I miss you and I want to do like more of these, like more frequently because I feel like I have so much to say and then when I sit down, I'm like, my mind is just, it, there's so much things in my head. Like I want to talk to you guys about, you know, like transitioning into becoming vegan, like being vegetarian, like why I've been gone. Like I want to talk to you guys about it, but when I sit down, I'm just like, okay, makeup talk about some things and it just all gets so like mumble jumbled but hopefully this video wasn't too boring you guys will like post it anyway even though you're like feeling like low in energy and even if it's a boring look it doesn't matter so here you go thank you so much for watching this video i know it was very simple the makeup look but i hope you still got something from it don't worry i'm back i was on a little break but i'm back so stay tuned for more videos thank you for subscribing for liking for commenting i truly truly love you and i'll see you in my next video Bye, guys.